with um, Carl Brazier from Yesu, and uh, he's going to show us a, an, an upgrade to the FT2D that will allow it to become a, a YSX nerd. How on earth is that possible? What about the modems and things we used to need? Okay, so in the past you would have had to have an FTM100 or an FTM400, and you would have also had to have an HRI200 modem. But now, um, particularly suitable for those that like to use uh, wires X, but perhaps when they're out and about, perhaps they're going on holiday, we've now got an option where via a software upgrade on their FT2D and also via a software upgrade on a wires X software, they can now use the FT2D as a wires X node. That's very good. And uh, is that going to cost the people something for the upgrade? Uh, no, it's uh, going to be available as a download. It should be available in about July. And they will also need an SCU19 cable, which they may already own. Yeah, I believe that normally comes with yes. the rig. But of yes. course, if they've lost it somewhere, they'll have yes. to buy another one. Yes. But uh, apart from that, so, so the software is uh, Windows software. So again, if you're out portable yes. somewhere on the little tablet or something, it doesn't need a lot of horsepower. No, that's right. It, it runs, in fact, in this example, we've got it running on an older machine to show it actually runs well. Um, so a small tablet will be fine with a single USB port to connect to your HRI 200. Um, sorry, your no. FT2D, I exactly. should say. <laughs> um, and that's all we then you would require. And then in addition, of course, you need another handheld to obviously then be able to communicate to your um, handheld that's acting as the node. Yeah, so it's acting almost like a hotspot, if you like. It, it is. Would like say, it would say in a Wi-Fi it would be a hotspot. Here it's a, a node. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, um, yeah, so that, that's uh, actually great, Carl. Um, is there any other new products you'd like us to take a look at? Oh, I think there may be one or two. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll do that in we'll the next have to, one. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're here again with Carl, and he's got something else to tell yes. us about, something that's been popping around the, uh, the Internet a lot recently. So, I'll... Carl, what is this new HF rig? Oh, you may have heard of it. It's the FTDX101D. It's the new SDR radio from Yezu. Mm -hmm. Should be available about the end of the year. And it has a number of interesting features. So it has uh, two, two SDR receivers. And it also has um, a touchscreen, as you can see there, a, light, a clear touchscreen. Mm -hmm. It has also a, a variable HiQ filter on the front end and it also um, like the other radios has a, a USB port which can also act as a sound card and for cat control okay so in a lot of ways it, it it's really great to hear you using the 101 number again because that was a classic Yesu transceiver and I guess you're hoping this is going to be a classic as well and I see that it, it keeps the although it's got the um, the new um, waterfall and LCD and everything, uh, it keeps the style of the rest of the FTDX range as well, which yes. I believe is your competition range of, uh, yes. of uh, transceivers. Um, is there anything um, extra, or, or, or is this going to replace an existing one in the FTDX range, or is it a new one altogether and, and it's going to build yeah. its own area? So really, the FT101 will FTDX101D will um, complement the other products that we do. So like the FTDX range will still exist and still be available. But we see this for people that perhaps like the waterfall display and yeah. so, um, it will complement the existing range that we offer. Okay, I mean, and, uh, the question everybody will want an answer to, but I know you can't tell us yet would be what price point, but I, I'm guessing this is a, a middle to high range transceiver um, looking at the features it's got yep. and the, the design of it, um, I, I'm guessing you're competing against some of the higher range models, both actually within your own range and in the competitors. Yeah. So really, it'll be it'll be a, a good price, a realistic price for the, well, yeah, for that, where, where it's going to be in the product range. Okay. You know, well, that's going to be a surprise. We'll have to wait <laughs> for to, towards the end of the year. Yes. And. Um, uh, are you going to have uh, get one yourself? Uh, I may do. I certainly <laughs> would like to try one, yes. <laughs> it's certainly the candy here at uh, Friedrichshafen. Uh, the, the everybody's coming, and, and in fact, we have to keep the, re uh, the interview short because there's so many people trying to get to look at this new rig from Yesu. So, 
Thank you very much uh, for the interview, welcome. Carl, and thanks thank for you. letting us have a look. And uh, all the best with the, uh, the marketing of it. And uh, maybe next year we'll be coming back and you'll be uh, saying, ah, well, that went very, very yeah. well, and now we have the next one. <laughs> yes. We'll have to see. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.